My name is Beatrice Bilò and I am the chair of the National Allergy Society Committee. In uh, uh, Lisbon this year, we have the great opportunity to interview some presidents and representatives uh, of the uh, uh, National Allergy Society Committee. So today I have with me Professor Panzner, who is the president of the Czech uh, National Society of Allergology and Clinical Immunology. So thank you for being here and please introduce yourself. Uh, thank you for inviting me. It's a great pleasure for me. Uh, I work in a university hospital in Pilsen, which is a small city um, around 10, 100 kilometers from Prague, and we have a small university. So I am the head of the Department of Allergology and Clinical Immunology at this uh, uh, institution. Okay. And Professor Panther, you know that uh, uh, the uh, National Allergy Society Committee is an interactive uh, platform, uh, and the aim of this platform is to increase the, uh, the interaction and the trust uh, between IACI and the National Allergy Society. How do you perceive this, uh, uh, this platform? Uh, I think that this platform is very useful and uh, our collaboration, that means the collaboration between our national society and EAKI is quite uh, intensive and it lasts for a long time and I think that this platform is very useful and it deepens this collaboration, it helps us. Uh, I think that uh, I could mention for example some uh, activities of the EAKI which were ha held in Prague like uh, master classes in 2017, it was master class on primary immunodeficiencies. In 2018 it was a master class on biologicals and we hope for, for other events. So it's maybe one, uh, one topic which can be discussed and I think that the uh, National Allergy Society Committee helps also uh, to introduce, uh, introduce and uh, uh, realize uh, um, other activities like uh, collaboration on um, guide guidelines, translation and implementation of work of guidelines and, and many more. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, I would like to speak a little bit about the specialty, about our specialty. You know that in uh, some countries, in some European countries, uh, the full specialty of allergologies has not been yet uh, recognized. So what is the situation in your country? Uh, we have allergology and clinical immunology as a full specialty and uh, it, it works quite quite well in our country but uh, I think that the National Allergy Society Committee is also a platform to to promote this uh, full specialty for, for other countries where it is not yet and it's very very good to know how the situation is in different mm -hmm. countries mm -hmm. and it may help also uh, for countries in which the full specialty exists to uh, harmonize the curriculum and the length of specialization and many many other aspects so I think it's a very very useful um, activity for for everybody mm, yes uh, I am personally convinced that uh, the committee is indeed uh, a unique opportunity to join forces uh, to work together for our specialty and for the patient care yes uh, surely, surely it is, and uh, I think maybe besides the the, the guidelines, um, we could uh, we could mention some some uh, other events and the harmonization uh, in care it itself, mm -hmm. because also um, the scientific uh, events are not the only uh, opportunity and the possibility how to do it, but uh, maybe to to harmonize also some formal aspects of of the care are is important. Could you tell us something about your society, uh, especially in terms of scientific activities? Um, our society is quite big. We have over 1,000 members, uh, of course, not only uh, physicians, uh, allergologists and immunologists, but also physicians from other subjects, uh, nurses and technicians. And we have a lot of uh, uh, events uh, during the year. Every second year we have a national congress, which is attended not only by our members, but also by uh, people from neighboring countries. Uh, so I think that uh, our national National society is quite active and it really appreciates the contact and collaboration with EHAKI through uh, National Allergy Society Committee. Mm -hmm. 
So uh, my last question is related to allergy care and allergy services. Uh, um, a recent uh, survey done by the National Allergy Committee and the UMS uh, shows that uh, the uh, spectrum of allergy services and allergy care is very heterogeneous across Europe. So how is the situation in, in your country? Uh, yes, you, you are right. It, it is heterogeneous, and we have to do uh, something maybe to um, change it. But uh, I would say that in our country, the services are quite available uh, for the patients, also quite available uh, from the economical point of view. And many things are reimbursed by the insurance companies, uh, and uh, I think also the new ways of, of diagnostic and treatments are quite well available. So I would say that maybe we cannot complain, but we have to know how is the situation in other countries and uh, try to, to harmonize it. Yeah. Thank you very much, Professor Pantner, for being here. Thank you for your time and enjoy the Lisbon meeting. Thank Thanks. you very much for the invitation and enjoy. Welcome. <laughs>